together and bring it back to me? Hit the dance floor or the players club. <laughs> get it right, get it right, get it to you. Excuse me, go eat and get out my mug bag. Thank you. All up in the beeswax. All up in the Kool-Aid. You don't even know what the flavor is. How you doing? Hey, my babies. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jane. I'm back with another video. Okay, get out my mug bag. In today's mukbang, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm fucking hot. That's what I am. Today's mukbang, I'm hot. Okay, it's 90 degrees this fucking summer. The girl ain't got no AC, okay? I've been asking for my friend to come put my AC in for the longest. Tell me he gonna do it, you know what, forget it. I'm gonna be like my father up in here. My father never had an AC in his apartment. <laughs> he had a fan and he was like, listen, it is what it is, stop complaining. It's hot, it's cold. That's the weather. <laughs> it's Trinidadian butt. So Trini. He don't want to do heat. First of all, so Trini and cheap. How about that? My, my father is very cheap. Um, so yeah, my babies. And today's kind of, first of all, let me do the intro. Because I didn't do the intro yet. I hope y'all see my boobies. I just got off the couch. Hey, my babies. Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Raya J. And I'm um, back with another video. Today is Tuesday, my babies. I hope all is well with you all. All is well with me. And I hope we all are continuing to stay about happiness, peace, and love. And I hope we all are continuing to stay determined, motivated, and focused. And I hope we all are continuing to walk in the alignment of stars of our So let me say prayer, then I'm gonna start running my mouth <laughs> and start eating. Thank you so much, Allah, for providing this food for me, for distributing this food for me, Allah. For giving these people the skills to cook this food, giving me the money to buy this food, for blessing me and my family with this food, for blessing nourish our bodies and souls. Allah. Thank you so much, Allah, for this overall experience. Inshallah, I mean. So I'm eating a BLT. I never had a BLT from this spot. I know I normally just get the cream cheese and bacon or the veggie, um, the veggie egg omelet with bacon. Um, but that's about really all that I get. Wookie always get the butter bagel. Well, today we doing things different. Wookie got pancakes and bacon on the side and I have a BLT. And of course I gotta get my light and sweet, baby. Let me get that. Mm. 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 Wow, that is amazing. Let me show y'all the food. Oh, my food ain't soggy because let me tell y'all what happened. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, let me show y'all the food. Let's take it again. Look at that BLT. Ow, so yummy. Yeah, let's get it in because I'm hungry. And then my light and sweet coffee right there. How you doing? Okay. Let me put my shirt on because I don't know what the boobies popping out, y'all. Just got out the shower. I'm sure you could tell. Tell my money. Okay. When I get the new class, Daddy, and then I'm ready. <laughs> um. So yeah, let me tell you what happened before I dig in, because once I start eating, I'm not gonna be able to stop. Um. So what happened today was we woke up this morning. The baby is like, I'm hungry. I'm like, okay. Um. We had planned to go to Rite Aid to get some things from Rite Aid, but I also needed to go to the supermarket. So I just ended up going to the supermarket and getting the things that I needed to get from Rite Aid from the supermarket. So <laughs> just follow me though, y'all. So I got everything I needed and then, um, but on the way there, we, we always order the breakfast on the way to the supermarket. So we ordered the breakfast and then I had got two more, I only brung out $120 and i had got too much stuff <laughs> you know how you go to the fucking store and you get more stuff than you plan to get well yeah that always happens 
Well, most of the time that happens to me. So I only plan out, I only plan to get a few things from the supermarket, but I ended up getting way more things than I planned to get. So the total came up to like 128, and y'all know I only had 120, so I had to take a few things out, a bag of pretzels, a loaf of bread, and um, what else? And a bottle of wine. But I still have them, but don't worry, we got bread in the house. I'm just trying to get more, more wheat bread, and at least I was able to get one bottle of wine. <laughs> versus two and then um i was gonna get two bag of organic pretzels and i only got one so yeah my total came once i took those three things out um my total came to 115 so that's perfect so i got that but then y'all know i said i ordered the food on the way to the supermarket so i had uh, y'all already know what we got told you the baby guys pancakes and um baked cider bacon and i got right here to blt so I knew I was not gonna have enough, you know, with just four dollars left for my change in the supermarket. So I had to go all the way home. Then we had to go, and then I had to get the money, <laughs> more money. Then I had to go all the way back to get the breakfast. So by the time I was, by the time I, I literally just got home, like literally five minutes ago. By the time we finished doing all of that, I was drenched. You hear me? Drenched. First of all, it's already hot and humid or whatever. And then me with my anxiety and rushing and all of that, y'all know I sweat. I don't stink, but I do be sweating, okay? So, um, I was just drenched, underarms drenched. <laughs> Pretty sure my butt crack was freaking sweaty, and then um, my face was drenched. So I'm like, uh-uh, as soon as I got in, jumped right in the shower. Y'all ever have those moments where you literally, you just, you can't do nothing else, but you can't do nothing else, but, you can't do nothing else, but, come in the house and go straight in the shower because your ass you just need a shower asap so yeah that's what i did so as you can see i just got out the shower and yeah i'm about to eat right now so let's get it in. <laughs> and then on my way let me tell you this last part too on my way on our way back from the supermarket to drop the stuff off and get the money to go pick up the breakfast why there was a big ass seagull there's two big ass birds they're bigger than normal sized birds around here in my area. It's a seagull and a crow. They are big as freak, you hear me? And listen, I'm okay with regular sized birds, but when they look like they can fuck me up, <laughs> when they look like they can fuck me up, I'm like, no, like I can't get with it. And I really have a real phobia of big ass seagulls. like. I'm not too scared of the crow. I don't, I don't listen. This this is because I was traumatized when I was a young kid at the beach. Okay, there was some big ass birds, literally just floating in the water as I'm playing in the beach as a kid, and then coming to steal our sandwiches and our chips and stuff. Like I'm really scared of seagulls, y'all. And more than anything, I'm really really scared of them big ass birds. Okay, them big ass seagulls. So there was a big seagull in front of my building pecking that garbage and stuff. So me and Wookie, I'm like, Wookie, don't run. Cause Wookie got this thing where she runs. She will run. I'm like, girl, don't run. You gotta act normal, okay? <laughs> if y'all don't know, now you know. You gotta act normal. You can't be out there acting a fool. Cause then that's going, you know, that's going to make you look sus out in these streets, okay? So I'm like, Wookie, act normal. So Wookie's like, she looking at it. I'm like, Wookie, don't even look at it. <laughs> so then we walked around. Instead of going literally sh walk straight to our building because the seagull is right there with the garbage, we walked right around this little grass thing. And then we went into the building. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I'm so scared. One thing y'all gonna know about me, I am terrified of big seagulls, okay? I can't get with it. And I know some of y'all, you know, if y'all know about birds, y'all gonna be like, oh, but they harmless, yada, yada, yada. But listen, to me, it looks like my world is coming to an end when I see them seagulls. They should have gave me a bigger play. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's what I needed. After going through all that, waking up hungry, and running a few errands, 
And then, finally having breakfast. Oh yeah, that's what I need. Mmm. Wow, this is so good. Mmm, I'm gonna have to get this again. <laughs> I say that now on my mukbangs, right? I'm gonna have to get that again. <laughs> Once something is good, I want to get it again and again and again until <laughs> y'all can correlate this with me towards other things in my life too that I like. You know, once I like something, I want to get it again <laughs> and again and again. It's so good. Mm. down to business today, y'all. I worked out yesterday, y'all. Yay! Clap for me. Um... I was telling my friend like, oh, you know, I worked out. Yesterday I was telling my friend like, oh, I worked out. You know, my legs hurt. He's stupid. He gonna say, well, you look good to me. Oh no, cause I was like, you know, I put on this quarantine. On top of me gaining weight prior to the quarantine, you know, I gained a little weight. Y'all know that I was on my workout tip working out every day. And if it wasn't every day, it was every chance that I got to, every chance I got, I was working out, you know? But then right before the quarantine, I, I stopped working out as much as I was. So then I started gaining a little bit of weight. So I always fill out. My body always, like when I lose weight, and I'm considered like more slim, thick at that time, my body always fills out in the places <laughs> that I'm happy about, but then an area that I'm not so happy about so that is my abdominal area my thighs and my butt and my face okay you know when I gain weight because my face gets more chunkier than usual so and right now my face looks slim I don't does it look it looks slimmer than it has right I guess because <laughs> I worked out yesterday and slimmed down a little bit so um you know that's where I feel out at so I was telling my friend, you know, I'm trying to get this quarantine 15 off shit for me. It's like the quarantine 30. But <laughs> but um, he's like, shit, well, you look good to me. I'm like, well, thank you, you know. But and that's the thing, ladies, like we have like don't put I, I talk about this in plenty. I'm sure I have plenty content videos. OK, talking about like loving yourself for you don't love yourself because of guys don't love yourself because of you know the public and whatever like like don't don't like don't try to find validation from what someone thinks or feels about you you know no matter how many compliments i get a day and trust me i get a thousand compliments online and in person people are just like damn you look good you're beautiful you're gorgeous da, da, da. wow can i talk to you blah 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 blah, blah. and it's like listen uh, listen okay you can give me compliments all day okay i'm not gonna sit here front like i don't love compliments i do i'm a woman at the end of the day i'm a grown eh, woman and we like compliments we like to, to for somebody to be oh you look beautiful i like your shoes i like your hair i like your makeup wow you're just gorgeous queen blah 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 okay have a beautiful day gorgeous and all of that that's that's what's up like shout out to the people that give compliments but 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 ladies 
do not seek validation from that. When you wake up in the morning, do you tell yourself you're beautiful, you love yourself, and you're grateful for yourself, and you're enough, and you're worthy, you're beautiful inside and out, and you're loved, and you're cared for, and you're appreciated? Like, do you tell yourself these things in the mirror? Do you tell these things to yourself on a daily? Like, and it doesn't always have to be in the mirror, but doing it in the mirror is a very powerful thing. You are speaking those things into yourself when you pray speak those things when you are just thinking meditating whatever working out doing yoga taking a walk having some peace and some some peace and quiet time say it to yourself the you are speaking power over yourself and your and your um and your life you know and also ladies teach your children that and it's not just for the ladies little boys need to be able little boys need to learn about positive affirmations as well teach your sons i am worthy i am enough i am a king okay i am confident i am intelligent i am strong T i am brave okay teach i am loved i am cared for i am resilient i am brilliant i'm a genius i'm a leader i'm a great ex teach your children as well ladies to speak these things into themselves because they are speaking into their life they're speaking into themselves. This is very powerful. So, you know, like I was saying, <laughs> damn, I just preach, y'all. But y'all know that's how I do. But it's like, regardless of how many compliments I get, how many people feel I'm beautiful, I'm attractive, that can they talk to me, have a good day, beautiful, da-da-da-da-da. You don't know what a person is going through inside, okay? I'm going through my own situations where y'all know I'm trying to get rid of this gut. And then not only that, I am now, yo, my body is changing, changing. And I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I'm trying to be grateful for my health, for my body, for my skin, for just me and me. I really am. And I am. I'm, I'm grateful. But, you know, as a woman, your body starts to change as you get older and stuff like that. And I'm going to be 27 this year, y'all. And my body is changing. Like, you know, I've been a mom for almost eight years. And my daughter's going to be eight soon. I've been about this motherhood lifestyle, okay? I'm a great mother, 24-7 super mom. So I've been about that. But just because you're a mom doesn't mean your body has stopped changing, okay? Your body is going to continue to change, especially if you have um, fluctu a fluctuating weight problem like myself, okay? My weight fluctuates. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down, depending on the type of lifestyle that I'm living. If I'm not being consistent, eating, you know, keeping a, a, a nice, hearty and healthy diet. And, you know, um, if I'm not doing those two things, I'm going to put on a few pounds. Okay. So, and then when I start to realize that I put, this is a, this is crazy that, that I go through this all the time. And then when I start to realize like, Raya J, like you done gained some weight, like you know things are tighter than normal. I'm like, damn, I got I got to work out, you know. And this is a up, this is a up and down thing, y'all. And I'm trying to find the root of my problem. But the point that I'm trying to make about me and how my body has been changing lately, my y'all, my thighs are big as crap. You, you know, and it's, and you know, most people will be, most people will be really happy about that you know if they trying to gain weight and they trying to gain muscle whatever they trying to do most women want juicy thighs let's be let's be honest but from and i and i listen i love my thighs i do but right now they are getting so <laughs> they are getting so big and juicy okay that your girl has now realized i got a few stretch marks on my thighs now listen, I got stretch marks. I'm a mom, my weight fluctuates. I'm a real woman out on these streets. I got I got stretch marks and cellulite. But I never had stretch marks on my thighs. I have a few, I have stretch marks on my breast. I have stretch marks on my, like on my, um like my love handle area, on my stomach, on my butt. You know, but my stretch marks are sexy. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. Like I love my stretch marks. Like. These, these are my mommyhood stripes, okay? I didn't earn my stripes. But on my thighs, y'all, that's why I've been, <laughs> listen, that's why I've really been, I've been working out, y'all, for real, because I don't want 
listen y'all i don't want to stretch marks on my thighs and then you know women of color when you're when you have thick thighs and your thighs touch you get the you get like the hyperpigmentation between your thighs like and i always had that but it wasn't as and it's not bad like it's not bad trust me like i'm not getting no complaints but me how i feel about myself is i know i'm gaining weight because i'm getting stretch marks on my inner thighs and my thighs are rubbing together y'all and trust me i'm the moisturized queen like every day i take a shower i take a bath i moisturize down coconut oil lotion shea butter like i don't y'all see my skin my, i have flawless skin but it's like no matter what i do no matter how much moisturized oil shea butter coconut lotion no matter how much i put on my thighs my thighs <laughs> my thighs got stretch marks y'all and you know you know as a woman of color when your thighs rub together it creates a friction therefore you get that bit of darkness between your thighs and like i said mine is not bad like i'm not trust me mine is not bad but i do see a difference because of the friction you know and i guess when the moisturize you know when the moisturize um -ness, eventually soaks all in and then your skin is back like regular you know it's not all oiled down and you your your skin is causing that friction you know so just comment down below if ladies what do y'all use because I, I use really good products on my skin i use natural products i also use lotion um and i mix things together too i'm a, I'm a fan of mixing like oils and lotions together or o coconut oil and shea butter together you know just to create a more moisturizedness going on so, but just comment down below especially my woman of color but white women and latinos and every other race and ethnic y'all get that too because i see white women with stretch marks and theirs look more pink and brown and um like latina latinas too latinas get that their hyperpigmentation between the thighs and they get stretch marks and it looks more brown you know but um just comment down below ladies just shout out to us <laughs> the real women out here we got stretch marks we got cellulite and you know it is what it is okay long as you're clean you're moisturized and you look good you gucci great but just comment down below if y'all have any um other suggestions for me as far as what can i use for my my thighs y'all because i am working out like i'm losing weight by the pound <laughs> daily because I, i'm working out y'all i don't i always had juicy thighs but they are they are so juicy these days that it's like damn <laughs> damn <ma. laughs> they are way more juicier so as i'm working out i'm also trying to find more moisturizers and will use that I can use until I get to like where I, I want to be at this point in my life but yeah mm. Mm. it's getting soggy now because I'm running my mouth But that's okay. I actually like soggy things. I don't eat cereal, but you know how there's two people in this world? There's some people that like that look they have to literally make a bowl of cereal and wait a few minutes so the cereal could get soggy. It's that type of people out in this world. It's those type of people in this world. And then there's the people that they have, once they pour the milk in the cereal, they have to eat it because they want their cereal fresh and crunchy. Listen, shout out to both people. Shout out to both of those type of people in this world, but the type of person I am, I don't eat cereal, like I said, but I love soggy things. <laughs> like I used to literally make my bowl of cereal, wait for it to get soggy and then eat it. Especially cornflakes and frosted flakes. Oh my God, so good. And then you know how if somebody sent like if somebody was eating the sandwich and they like it's soggy, I can't eat it, it's soggy. I don't like soggy bread. Me, I still eat it. 
It is what it is. What else gets soggy? Hmm. Comment down below. What other things get soggy and people like can't eat it once it's like that? Like soggy waffles and soggy fruit. I could still eat it. I'm trying to think. is all fluffy up. I'm gonna let y'all go. I'll go so I can watch what's up my baby <laughs> but I did eat half of my sandwich with y'all and I drank most of my coffee with y'all I wanted to give y'all a breakfast mug man fresh out the shower you dig um yeah Yesterday, me and a baby watched Maleficent. The second part, though. Today, I'm gonna watch part one. I hate when I do it. I hate when I watch movies backwards like that because, but luckily for me, um, I understand the whole movie concept. I just understood it all. It was really beautiful. I didn't set any expectations going in. The baby was scared, and I, I knew it wasn't scary. Um, and Angela Yee, Angela Yee, not Angela Yee, <laughs> Angelina Jolie is gorgeous. Like, I always thought she was gorgeous. She has the most beautiful lips I've ever seen. Be I mean, besides mine, I have very sexy lips. But she, um, her, li um, her lips are very plump and juicy. I always just thought she was really beautiful. Even in character, like she <laughs> looks amazing. But anyways, my babies. <laughs> anyways, let me get off this camera. This is the end of the content video, my babies. I love you all so much. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace and love. Bye. <laughs>